So my name is Robert Nackett and I'm a teacher here at Headland School. Headland School is part of the charity Action for Children. We are the only school uh, as part of the organisation. Uh, we're based in Penarth in South Wales and we cater for pupils aged 7 to 19 uh, with a variety of different uh, difficulties uh, ranging from autism through to emotional and behavioural difficulties, social anxieties and that sort of stuff. So they do singing, they play guitar, keyboard, drums, we've got a little choir going, some bands and stuff. Um, but we've also got kids interested in the sort of more techy side of things, learning how to operate the desk and do the editing stuff as well. You open an opportunity to come down to the music room or the radio or go to drama or some of the other creative ideas we do and they become alive. You know, we've had children who struggle to string a sentence together when speaking to people, but they'll come down here and they'll perform like they're on stage on TV. It's incredible. Dylan, so um, he's a cool dude. Um, he's got the, the, the real rocker look um, and he expressed a bit of interest in playing guitar. So he's probably been playing about seven or eight months and in that short space of time you know, he is just hooked and he's been practicing like mad. He's been coming down to the, the studio to record things and we've also got a guitar building workshop happening in a couple of months time. He's going to make his own guitar and which was well the performance he gave today was incredible you know considering he's only been playing you know, for a very short space of time. My name's Chloe and I'm Corey. And why do you think music should be important for all young people? Because it gives them like a safe outlet and a safe place to like, let's say you want to sing a sad song if you're sad, you can sing a happy song if you're happy. And today, I'll be honest with you, I woke up and I felt quite sad. So I like I got dragged down to the drama and like, go to drama, it'll be a good distraction for you, which obviously I'm smiling now. Because you get to like yeah. express yourself, do what you want to do. Be free. Yeah. It makes me happy when I sing, obviously, and I get to do it with my friends. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dean Why now, and uh, I've been working with live music now to promote lung health through beatboxing. So, during the first lockdown, I was approached by Live Music Now to facilitate some beatboxing sessions at Victoria Education Centre in Poole. These sessions were to be run online over Zoom. And, uh, yeah, initially it was just me getting to know everyone and me showing off my beatboxing. And then it's progressed to me teaching everything about music and um, song structure, building up different beatbox sounds. A lot of the children um, in the school have muscular dystrophy and like cerebral palsy. So we found out over the course of the first few terms there was a huge improvement in speech and um, also big improvements in like motor skills and stuff to do with like eating and jaw strength. So uh, after the first year, I did a little visit to the school, met everyone in person. All the kids I'm working with, they're amazing. They've got such an amazing energy and it's, my, it's honestly my favorite thing that I do about all, all of my education work. It's the most, most rewarding, most fun thing a Tuesday morning. The guys at uh, Victoria Education. Hi, my name is Gethin Thomas. I'm a music teacher in Llangevny in Canolfan, Haddiska Bont. We are a special needs school with approximately 120 pupils, ranging from the age of four to 18. And uh, I travel around the classes teaching music with my guitar. We see a lot of progression with the, with the pupils, um, not just academically, but mostly through enjoyment, um, involvement, um, and that's what I go after really, is how involved the pupils are. Hi, my name is Catherine Jones, and I am a um, class teacher in Canolfan Addis Gabont. Um, so I teach a class of PMLD children um, who are um, Provost Class Profound and Multiple Learning Disabilities. We've got one child in particular who's very good, that's Makaton, um, and she will communicate back by using the signs when she sings and dances as well. So it's a good way of developing her Makaton skills as well when we introduce different songs and new songs as well. I've definitely seen progress with children when they use music in class, when we do the music sessions. And one child, um, he, when he started here, he was very quiet and he was in his shell kind of thing, but he's really grown and we've used music. He likes counting and he likes music. So we've um, combined both together and we've um, 
when he feels a bit um, upset, we will use our counting song with him and he just, he, his mood just changes and he gets very excited and happy.